seven years ago when I first started this YouTube channel I produced a video that was just sharing with you the types of ground baits that I was going to be using and had been using through that winter as you can imagine over seven years not only have there been lots of changes on this channel but there have been lots of changes within my fishing so I've been getting asked more questions this winter about what kind of mixes I've been using through the last two winters and what I plan on using this winter and that's what this upload is all about Now, if you're a regular viewer to this channel, you will be more than familiar that one of my go-to mixers right the way through summer and winter has been F1 Green. Now, it's no secret that I'm a fan of sauna baits, and it's just to share with you why I, and lots of the anglers that I know, make the choices that we do when we're selecting a ground bait to fish with through winter. Now, F1 Green is a go-to mix. It's, as the name suggests, it's quite brightly colored green, to be fair. It's a fine mix, and that, they're the qualities that I really like about those. However, going into winter we've got F1 Dark all right that's the name of the brand and basically I just want to show you the qualities of it as the name suggests it's very very dark in color all right and that's something that not only myself but lots and lots of other anglers have found that through winter generally darker mixes tend to perform well and that is just because the ground mate is a little bit more discreet when it's on the bottom in clear water we've generally found across the board not only on commercials or just naturals across the board that generally we often find that fish are a little bit more confident sitting over and feeding over darker coloured ground bait. Now you know going back years and years I used to talk about the reason for that now and one of the reasons that I heard when I was a kid was basically that if you think of a fish that say, say it's laying over a light coloured object so you know it could be a plastic bike bag that's blown in or a light coloured ground bait then in theory, and as we know from underwater filming, a fish like that is going to stand out to a predator. A predator looking down can see a fish over a lightly coloured background. That was something that I heard when I was a kid. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but that was one of the reasons why we felt that having a darker mix will give fish a bit more confidence when they're grazing over it during winter. But whatever the reason, over the last you know few years we we have found that darker mixes generally perform better in clearer water now one of the things that i will briefly mention to you is the actual feed quantity when you're looking at ground baits for winter just have a look at how much food's in there all right now this is f1 dark it's a fine mix there's bits of ground pellet in there uh, it is a fish meal mix and that is really a favorite going through winter however the next mix i want to show you is super feeder all right now it's a very very sweet smell very very sweet as you can see the colors it is it's uh, it's a brown color now this is a mix that i really really like it's really sweet i do like sweet mixes i'll be honest with you it tends to catch a wider range of fish for me or different you know a wider range of stamp of fish and this particular mix has got a little bit more feed in it and this is why i don't use this so much through winter all right, I tend to use it in autumn and, I, and springtime I used it as well. And there are anglers that prefer this mix through the winter. However, it's a really sweet smell, but it is one that if I think the fishing is going to be a little bit better, or if I'm fishing for bream, for example, where, you know, it's not like F1 or carp fishing or fishing for roach. With, with bream, you tend to want to have a mix or something that's going to hold the fish in your peg for longer. So one of the key tactics through winter is to feed an area of your swim a little bit more positively while you fish elsewhere rest that line and go on it after an hour and a half two hours even three hours sometimes where when you go on it you're not actually going on that line for one fish you're going on it for a run of fish you know for six seven eight nine and that's a common way of fishing for bream and that is when i would i prefer to use a mix like this because there's a little bit more food in there um it's a little bit grainier if you want to use that term and so you know I just think it holds the fish a bit better it, it just keeps them grazing over that feed area where hopefully you know they're going to graze on it for a couple of hours so that they're going to be nice and confident so that when you go on that line you're going to get a run of fish because they're already settled they're already confident and they're going to stick around long enough for you to catch a number of fish so that is when i would use that that type of mix but it's really really sweet but don't forget with any mixes like this particularly with feed you can sieve it out you can pop it on a sieve sieve off any uh, bigger bits of pellet or bait in there if you don't want it in there so by doing that it's obviously it's changing the mix slightly but you're reducing the food content as well so it just gives you that option as well and the final mix is something that it's something i've experimented with a lot over the last couple of years 
Uh, not this particular mix, but the actual colour of the mix. Now this is Super Crush Expander. As you can see, it's much, much lighter. I mean, if I put that by the dark, you can see the difference there. Huge difference in colour. But as the name suggests, expander. Through winter, lots of silverfish matches now. You know, I remember when silverfish matches through winter were all about maggots and casters and maybe a bit of chop worm. It's the last two winters I've seen a massive change. Whilst I haven't been fishing lots of those matches, I am obviously up to speed on how they fish those venues, mainly with the pole. And you know, lots of the venues now are all about expander pellets. You know, they're fishing for skimmers, but even roach as well, but skimmers in particular, they love pellets. And so you see, I've seen a common trend where you know you're not fishing as much with maggots and casters now uh, because if you can fish the pellet and present it right in the conditions with a pole then that can often dominate and as the name suggests expander is generally the way to go in winter and that is when mixes like this come into their own as the name suggests there's expander pellet in there which means it doesn't bind brilliantly uh, but on most venues you don't need it to be mega um, binding or really sticky or anything because they're not too deep particularly if you're fishing commercials but one of the things that i've found is that with lighter colored mixers sometimes i've fished in deeper water with dark color mixers like the f1 dark for example and I just honestly think that sometimes in deeper water, and when I said deeper water, when you're looking at venues that are you know, in excess of four meters deep, that sort of depth, I think sometimes a dark mix is a little bit too camouflaged on the bottom. And if the fish are sitting at half depth, I think that sometimes you need a brighter colored mix like this to get the fish to go down so that they can see it. You know, and there have been so many times where I've switched from a dark mix to a lighter colored mix and I've suddenly started catching. And it's happened way too many times for it to be coincidence. So that's something to bear in mind. But this, I mean, obviously, when you look at the pellets that you're feeding on venues, on commercials, that is the same sort of color, isn't it? So that is where this sort of a mix has really come into it more for me recently. And the fact that it doesn't bind brilliantly is not really an issue on the depths of venues that we're fishing. And if you are feeder fishing, again, that's not a massive issue, but it also means it's gonna exit the feeder really, really quickly. Don't forget, one of the key things that we're constantly trying to remind ourselves in fishing is that we are here to catch the fish. We're not here to feed them. There's a huge difference there. So whatever ground bait you select, whatever color, whatever mix, whatever brand, just remember that sometimes the ground bait in itself is enough to get the fish there, just long enough for you to catch them with your hook bait. This is a topic that obviously I get asked about all the time, particularly now going into winter. And if you'd like to see any topical videos like this where I take time out to answer some of your questions, then please post them in the comments below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please give this one a thumbs up. And I really hope you've got a bit of value out of this video that's gonna hopefully help you catch more fish this winter.